my channel. I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Wednesday. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video is going to be what I have downloaded from Kindle Unlimited. Super popular fantasy series that I had on my TBR for a while now. But I had no idea it was on KU and I was so shocked that it was. The I follow Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life on Instagram and she has been reading the G the Green Bone Saga by Fonda Lee and she gave there's three books in the series and she gave all three books six stars. So that got me really excited. So I was just curious. I searched the Greenbone Saga on my Kindle just to see how much the ebook was because I thought I was going to have to pay for it. But I was surprised to see it was on Kindle Unlimited. So I downloaded all three books and I'm going to use an Audible credit because even though the books are on Kindle Unlimited, it's not available for which person. But the first book is called Jade City. The second book is called Jade War. And the third book is called Jade Legacy. And all I know about this series is that everyone on booktube loved it and I really want to try it and now that I know they're on Kindle Unlimited I have no excuse in fact I saw Rachel from Ravenhead Reader I think the Greenbone Saga is like made it to her top 15 books of all time so so I, really, so I really want to give this series a shot. The Wolf in the Garden. It's a gift of romance. It's a second chance romance. And I, re I heard about this book from Cynthia I Can Know After Dark. She loves this book. On recommendation from Cynthia in her own right. It's another shift of romance. It's a friends to lovers romance. I think the heroine cannot shift and she's secretly in love with her best friend, but she doesn't tell her best friend because she, she can't shift and she thinks her best friend deserves someone better than her. Unbeknownst to her, he is in love with her as well. I'm really excited because I asked B from Mama Needs to Read Romance if she would if she would buddy read this with me and she said yes. So I'm really excited. The Lies We Tell by Monty J. I have no clue what this book is about. I just downloaded it because I heard Baron from the Book Baron talk about this book, Rival Hearts. And I saw Tabitha from Probably a Love Story on Instagram talk about this book. It's a second chance romance. Brother's ex best friend. She. She is a sports agent and the hero becomes her client. Broken 
by the Horde King. I've, I have finally gotten to this book. I have started Madness of the Horde King. And so I can finally get to Broken by the Horde King. Because I, if you know me, I can't read things out of order. So, after, uh, like, after I finish Madness of the Horde King, I'm going to jump into, um, Broken by the Horde King. All I know about this one is, it's, it's childhood friends to enemies to lovers. And I have heard great things about this book from... Avery at Ava Reads Romy on Jen from the book graph for you, Lacey from Lacey's Book World Lovers, and Victoria from Victoria Reads Romance. They all say this book has an epic, epic gravel, and I cannot wait to read this book. My Lovely Tragedy. It's an MM romance. All I know about this is it's a romance, but it doesn't have an AGA. And I'm curious because Marie Anne is the person who wrote Inevitable, Inevitable Decision, Inevitable Distractions. And I read that last month and I loved it. So I really want to try reading my lovely tragedy, Shattered Kingdom. All I know about this book is it's a fantasy romance and it gets compared to Throne of Glass. But if you compare anything from Throne of Glass, I'm definitely going to read it. The audiobook is on Ever End. And the last book on my list is if you break um it's an uh, it's a poly m f m romance it's a fantasy romance and that's all i know no know about it it's by jocelyn jocelyn thorn and for those of you who don't know that's J. Rose's pen name. Now, I've been wanting to try a book by J. Rose, but I figured I'd start with her fantasy romance. Amanda from Ginger Snap Reads really loves J. Rose, and uh, I really want to give this fantasy romance a shot. Those are all the books I have downloaded from Kindle Unlimited. Please let me know if you have read any of these books. I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. And I'll see you Friday. Bye.